हेलो स्टूडेंट्स एंड वेलकम बैक टू बैंक एग्जाम डॉट कॉम सो इन द सीरीज ऑफ प्रोवाइडिंग फाइनेंशियल अवेयरनेस टॉपिक्स फॉर आई बी पी एस आर आर बी स्केल टू एंड स्केल थ्री एग्जाम ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री टूडे वी आर डूइंग इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन ऑन फाइनेंशियल इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स राइट रियली रियली इम्पॉर्टेंट सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डू इलेवन क्वेश्चन आई हैव प्रिपेयर टूडे एंड दैट्स वॉट आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर विद यू लेट स्टार्ट द सेशन एंड बिफोर स्टार्टिंग लेट मी टेल यू आई बी पी एस आर आर बी स्केल टू स्केल थ्री कॉस For 2023 session is already available on bankexamstudy.com, in which we are providing complete coverage of the syllabus. We are providing video classes, notes, quizzes, test series, power capsules, and interview preparation guidance on bankexamstudy.com. So let's start the session with which uh, of which among the following projects are included in sovereign green bonds. So very important, we have seen the sovereign green bonds in Union Budget 2023. <coughs> which of the following projects are included in sovereign green bonds so landfill projects uh, the nuclear power generation projects the green building biomass based renewable projects that rely on feed stock from protected areas so feed stock in uh, that's obviously not part of it aquatic biodiversity conservation so third and fifth green building and aquatic biodiversity conservation these are included rest of the uh projects are not included please give it a look uh, excluded projects are direct waste incineration nuclear power generation alcohol weapons tobacco hydropower biomass projects involving new or existing extraction production and distribution of fossil fuels so what are included renewable energy projects energy efficiency clean transportation climate change adaptation sustainable management pollution prevention control let me just write myself uh sustainable management of living uh, natural resources and land use all these uh, projects are included in the sovereign green bond projects okay let's move forward consider the following statements with regard to sovereign green bond framework in india so the interest rate is dependent upon repo rate that is false it is depend it depends upon the market rates okay the proceeds are deposited with the consolidated fund of india secure sebi will support the ministry of finance with selection and evaluation of projects which is false second one is correct the proceeds are deposited to the consolidated fund of india first one i told you the Dem market demand supply ke basis pe it is considered the sebi will not support the ministry of finance with the the, the selection okay a green finance working committee is constituted for this purpose green finance working committee is constituted for this purpose okay let's move forward so students green finance working committee is constituted for this purpose let's move forward with the question number 3 with reference to the investor education and protection fund authority its main objective is to promote awareness among investors and protect the interest of investors it is an authority under the provision of section 125 of sebi act it's not under sebi act it was established by the government of india in 2016 under the aegis uh, of the ministry of corporate affairs so first and third are uh, correct but the second one uh, it's not under the uh, you know the sebi act there is a it's under companies act it's under companies act not the sebi act okay the authority it is an authority under the sebi uh, under the uh, the companies act not the sebi act so that has to be noted otherwise it's there was no issues okay so the sdr the special drawing rights very very important so countries they have reserves in form of uh, uh, us dollars for example india we have foreign reserves in form of us dollars we have gold and we have some sdrs the special drawing rights so deposit with the imf right so sdr is neither a currency nor a claim on imf which is correct members voting power is directly uh, related to the quotas which is correct it is a type of asset that can be owned by private individuals no it cannot be owned by private individual and entities only the member countries uh, can have uh, the they can have the uh, only the 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 member countries can have the what do you say uh 
only member country can own SDR. So only second one is correct. I don't know why this one. Only this uh, E is the correct answer, not A. The animation is, I guess, wrong. Only second one is the correct answer. Uh, private entities cannot own this. SDRs are an international type of monetary reserve asset. Countries have those reserves. They have reserves in terms of US dollars. They have the reserves in terms of uh, gold and SDRs. So this is a reserve asset only for the member countries. Okay, the SDR is neither a currency nor a claim on the IMF cannot be held by private entities. It can be held by member countries only. Okay, which among the following are part of Indian India's foreign exchange reserve. We have uh, as a country, the Reserve Bank of India held our reserves, India's reserves in terms of foreign currency assets, the gold, the SDRs, uh, the reserve position with IMF. But we don't have, uh, you know, equity investment in of overseas firm by the Indian state. We do not consider that while calculating the Forex. We don't really have that many investments in the overseas firms. Our state doesn't have that many investments. So that's not part of the Forex. Okay. Forex reserves. Which entity is responsible for regulating infrastructure investment trust? The SEBI. Uh, is responsible for regulating in infrastructure investment trust obviously anything related to the investments uh, the depositors uh, investors interest is uh, is monitored by SEBI what is relationship what is the relationship between forward premium and interest rate differentials students interest what is the interest rate I mean let me give you a good example of the interest rate parity Mm, what is the interest rate in India? And what is the interest rate in Canada? Make a Google search interest rate in India and interest rate on a loan on a let's say housing loan. Right now in India, it's around I would say, uh, you can get an in a loan at the rate of 10%. It's easy to get a loan at the rate of 10%. Right? Okay, and what is the inflation rate in India? inflation rate in India right now it's around 6% I would say uh, we are talking about long term things okay so in Canada right now the inflation rate I mean that's the inflation rate that we are talking about is not one year or a quarterly inflation rate we are talking about five year or let's say 10 year average in at an average it's not even three it's two percent it's two percent in Canada right and what is the interest rate average interest rate in Canada that's around I would say six percent okay so what happens when you borrow let's say from Canada at six percent okay and you deposit that money in India right uh, in the FDs for seven percent but you need to uh, pay the money back over the period of time every year whatever the difference between the interest rate of both countries at that rate, the currency of India INR is going to depreciate INR is going to depreciate over the period of time. If there is a difference between the inflation, I mean, that's a major uh, thing, okay, major contributor for, uh, you know, currency movements, the inflation, the purchasing power. <clears throat> so over the period of time, uh, whatever the inflation difference is, that's how the Indian currency is going to decline. If the uh, if the difference between India and the Canada's Canadians uh, inflation is uh, the difference is four percent by four percent, Indian currency is going to decline over the long period of time. If it is the difference is two percent, our currency is going to decline by two percent. Right now, in, in India, inflation is six percent, and in developed countries like U.S. and Canada the inflation is around 6%. Right now, the US dollar is 82 rupees. And trust me, after one or two years, the US dollar is not going to move to 85 rupees in next one, two years, because interest rates are high in US as well. Okay, so if the inflation rate in US, Canada remains around 2%, and in India, it remains around 6-7%, the Indian currency is going to go down. Okay, so note that. So what is the relationship between for forward premium and interest rate differential forward premium are equal to interest rate differentials. Another example, <clears throat> uh, 
you borrow from a country a and you know you, uh, the inter- you borrow from country a and you deposit that money in country b you want to take benefit of the interest rates that is not possible because over the period of time everything is going to balance out you cannot make that uh, you know arbitrage profit you know taking loan from canada at the rate of uh, let's say 6% 5% 4% and uh, investing in india and taking the you know risk free return of 7 6% you cannot make that 3% 4% gain i mean that is not possible to make 3 4% gain not possible okay so uh, covered interest parity is there in india a financial transaction tax called a security transaction tax stt is applicable to equity derivatives and it is not applicable to off market transactions because it's not possible to track them and for gold exchanges tra- exchange traded funds because it's not applicable to gold exchanges exchange traded funds so it is only applicable to equity derivatives which among the following instruments come under money market t bills obviously are there uh t bills uh, are there uh, way and means advances are there and the notice money is there non convertible debentures and in- inflation index bond they were launched in 2013 and for the first time so they are long term in instruments non convertible debentures are also long term other others are like short term t bills are like 91 days t bills are there so way and mead are advances are temporary overdraft facility provided by reserve bank of india to central and state government the notice money it is a like very short period loans given by banks to another bank so it is an interbank lending one bank giving loan to another bank for 2 4 5 6 10 days okay up to 14 days <clears throat> so which of the following are characteristic of zero coupon bond you get no tax benefit okay you get no tax benefit low risk is obviously there it's a long term investment it is issued at discount what is zero coupon bond the face value is rupees 1000 and you are getting it right now for rupees let's say 600 rupees so after let's say 10 years you'll be getting 1000 rupees so face value is 1000 rupees right now you are getting it at a discount that is zero coupon you are not going to get any interest whatever the benefit that you are going to get you are going to get that at the time of uh, at the time uh, whenever you going to redeem it at the time of redemption you are going to get the benefit okay there is no tax benefit the retail investors can access the secondary what is secondary market the primary market means the issuer the issuer in this case in the government securities case the government itself is issuing you or the retail investor securities that is primary market so once the government sold you the instrument the securities now you want to sell it to another person okay that is secondary market you go to stock exchanges right let's say for example at the time of ipo you buy a share via ipo that is primary market okay but when you sell the same stock in the bse via your zeroda account bse or nse that is secondary market okay that is a basic difference that you need to understand okay the secondary market for government securities through rbi retail direct scheme it is through what is the name of the platform nds home trading system negotiated dealing system order matching that is the name of the platform okay so students ibps rrb scale 2 scale 3 course for the general banking officer 2023 exam it's available on bankexamstudy.com so we are providing video classes notes quizzes test series power capsules live sessions and interview preparation guidance everything is available on bankexamstudy.com you can also install our mobile apps and it's also available on bankexamstudy.com all the courses are accessible on any kind of device let it be ipads android tablets tablets or your mobile phone or any desktop laptops you can access your course on those devices this is our whatsapp number 9067201000 is our whatsapp number ask your doubts and we are going to answer your doubts so let's have a success, list of our successful students who took our courses in the past and they cracked their respective exams all these students that took our courses in the past and they cracked their respective exams i'm really really happy for them so students if there is any doubt in your mind then you can ask your doubts and we are going to answer your doubts i hope you got my number noted down 9067201000 this is my personal whatsapp number where you can ask your doubts 
that's all for today students thank you and have a very nice day bye bye